Hey everybody, it's Jamie here. Today I wanna to talk to you about repurposing your content. As a busy online entrepreneur, keeping up with social media can be a drag. It can literally feel like a hamster wheel, a treadmill, a marathon that you simply can't keep up with. I don't know about you, but I've spent so much time sitting there at four o'clock in the afternoon thinking, oh my God, what am I gonna post today? And so today I wanna to talk to you about my process that I use internally that we teach in our Social Made Simple class, how we repurpose content. Because here's the thing, if you are tired of sitting there at five o'clock wondering what the heck am I gonna to post today, this is for you. I want to end the craziness when it comes to creating content and posting on social media. So I want you to think of content in two ways, macro content and then micro content. Macro content is content that is longer in form and has a longer lifespan, okay? So think blogs, right? Because they're search engine friendly. Think podcasts, think YouTube videos. Anything that you create that lives on for days, weeks, months at a time versus micro content, which is shorter in form, typically like a text or a text in a photo or a quote graphic and has a short lifespan. So in terms of hours, maybe days, okay? So I want you to think about macro content and micro content. Content. That is the whole basis for everything that we're going to talk about today. So when you think about macro content, you can take macro content and turn it into micro content very simply and very, very, very easily. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about what type of macro content you want to create. So that could be a podcast. It could be a Facebook live. It could be a YouTube. It could be just a pre-recorded video on your iPhone. It can be so many different options. Those are long form macro content. I really enjoy creating video and creating podcasts. And so it's very, very easy and it comes naturally for me to do those things. And so I find that way easier to sit and do that than to write a blog post. But if you're somebody who likes to write, don't hesitate to think about using macro content in the form of a blog if that comes more naturally to you. Now, the most important thing is to create this one awesome piece of macro content. This one awesome piece of macro content is the basis for all of the other content that you are going to create for the rest of the week. So for me, I will put my time and effort and energy into creating one really awesome YouTube video like this or one really awesome podcast. And then from there, we take that podcast or that YouTube video or that Facebook Live and then we go ahead and we get it transcribed. An eight to 12 minute video will result in four to six to even eight pages, depending upon how quickly you speak, of transcriptions, okay? And so that is a ton of content and a ton of basis for you to actually be able to create other social media content from. So from one podcast or YouTube, we will create three quote cards, we'll create two prompts or questions, we'll create three long form posts, we'll create two short form posts, we'll create one post about the specific piece that we are doing, typically with, with some sort of wave or promotional file. We'll also create a blog and then we'll also create an email. So what happens is the time and effort and energy I use is to really put into researching and coming up with the content that I create in my macro content. From there, I can then hand it off to my assistant or someone on my team and they can then get it transcribed and create all of the different micro pieces of content from this one macro piece. So the two different softwares that we use to get it transcribed are one is Temi, which is 10 cents a minute and it's done with a computer. So it's not always super accurate. You do have to spend some time cleaning it up or alternatively, you can use Rev. Rev is a dollar a minute, but it comes out much cleaner because it's done by a human being. And so you really have to make the decision around which one you want to use. For me, we have tested both and Temi transcriptions come out really, really well, uh, given the way in which I deliver 
my content. And so for me, once we get that transcribed, I can then spend 10, 12, 15 minutes and clean it up and put it into a blog post and clean it up and turn it into an email. So all of my effort throughout the week is in to creating this long form macro content. And here's the cool thing, when you start creating macro content, you don't just have to use it on that one macro content platform. So for example, if you are watching this video, you can then take this YouTube video and also put it on your podcast episode. You can also take a Facebook Live and upload it to YouTube and then take that same Facebook Live and upload it to a podcast. So don't feel trapped to just having to create one piece of macro content for each platform. And so many of you will say to me, well, Jane, but don't my people follow me on all my platforms? Not typically. Most people are actually committed to whichever platforms they follow. So you'll notice Instagram people are Instagram people. Facebook people are Facebook people. YouTube people are YouTube people. So it's okay to cross pollinate that piece of macro content onto other macro platforms and then go ahead and get it transcribed and turn it into all of those different posts, micro posts that we talked about or micro content that we talked about. And the way in which that we actually go ahead and create that micro content is with this piece of software called Canva. I love Canva, it's awesome because it resizes everything for each of the different platforms that you're using. So it'll resize, say a quote graphic for Pinterest, it will resize a quote graphic for Facebook and for Instagram and for LinkedIn. So it becomes really easy to create the correct size graphics for all the different platforms that you're using. And the other piece I like about it is that you can, if you're always knowing that you're going to create content and templates and graphics that are consistent with your brand, you can create the template once and then just duplicate it and switch up the colors and the copy and very easily have a formula that's repeatable to save you tons and tons of time and tons and tons of energy when it comes to creating those graphics. And I'm a huge fan when I go to this phase of creating this, pulling this content from the transcriptions and creating these graphics. I always separate out the two tasks. So if you haven't already, you can go grab our 2020 social media template. It's over at OMG grow.com and I'll make sure to link it in the resources below, but you can grab our 2020 social media template. And from there, what I do is I will go and I will pull all of the copy out of the transcription first. Okay. And I'll get that all mapped out and I'll get that all put into the social media template. From there, I then go into Canva and create all the graphics at one time and then link those up with the content that I have in the spreadsheet. So I'm always doing just one task. I'm not trying to do the text, then the image. I'm doing all of the text at one sitting and I'm doing all of the graphics in one sitting. And then once all of that is done, I then go and schedule everything all at one time. We have an awesome Canva tutorial that we've done here on YouTube. I will make sure that that's linked in the resources for you so you can go check that out. But the biggest thing with this is to get comfortable, okay, and get started. And for many of you who are watching this, it's really, really important. If you need to take a week social media break to make this happen, go ahead and do it. I give you the permission to do it because this process will be a game changer for you if you can actually get it implemented. And it does take a little bit of getting used to because if you're not comfortable on video or you're not comfortable with podcasts, it does take a little bit of time to get used to doing that. And the more you do it, it's like going to the gym, the more you do it, the more that you'll be comfortable doing it. So I highly recommend give yourself a break, tell your followers, hey, I'm taking a week from social media so I can get more strategic about my posting and then just go ahead and get that stuff done. And I'm a huge fan of time blocking. So I love time blocking time on Mondays or Wednesdays to just bang out three or four YouTube videos at a time or podcasts at a time. And that is how you can really start to scale this up and scale it up quickly. So I am super excited to have you watch this video. I'd love for you to share in the comments how you're going to implement this in your business, how this could be a game changer for you, how this can help you manage your social media so you can 10x 
your ROI when it comes to social media because think about it, you can now put your content out on every single platform if you choose to because you have it all done. You don't have to worry about it. So I hope this is super helpful. Let me know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every Tuesday. I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you all soon. Have a great day.